Right now at 4.30 on go, Nation in Mourning. Days after the Texas school shooting rampage, we're learning new information on the shooter. Plus, response from the diocese. Punishments handed out after a late Catholic student athlete played in a lacrosse game with a swastika on his leg. And graduation honor, how a group of state troopers helped heal the pain for a student missing his father on his special day. Oh, you are going to want to stick around for this yeah. story. It is a tearjerker. Well, good morning, everyone. 4.30 here on your Thursday. I'm Danielle Wiggins here with Holly Strano. Thanks for starting your morning with us. And Holly, you can't leave the house without, of course, the coffee. <laughs> I was like, this? <laughs> And the umbrellas first. today. Yeah, so we're tracking some showers and thunderstorms for later, and we could have some strong storms in here later Ooh. today. So, Alrighty, thank you so much, Holly. Time is now 4:32, and this morning the nation continues to mourn the loss of life in the country's latest mass shooting. At least three vigils held in South Texas last night for the victims, shot and killed Tuesday at a Texas elementary school. This, as we learn more about the 21 lives lost. NBC's Wendy Wolfolk reports from Texas. And in the wake of the Texas shooting, President Joe Biden is calling for new gun reforms. The president made those comments yesterday at the White House before signing an executive order on policing. He says common sense gun reform may not prevent every tragedy, but he says certain reforms will have a significant impact without affecting the Second Amendment. Second Amendment is not absolute. When it was passed, you couldn't own a you couldn't own a cannon. You couldn't own certain kinds of weapons. It's just always been limitations. But guess what? These actions we've taken before, they saved lives. And they can do it again. President Biden says he will travel to Texas in the near future to meet with the families of the victims. And today, crisis response canines will be headed from Northeast Ohio to Texas to help relieve some of the grief and suffering in the wake of Tuesday's mass shooting. The dogs and their handlers will be leaving Cleveland this morning and will be on the ground helping victims almost immediately. And the tragedy in Texas has once again opened up conversations on gun laws across the country and right here in Ohio. This also comes as the state prepares to ease up on gun laws with a controversial new measure that goes into effect in just a few weeks. Yeah, and that law was signed by Governor DeWine, who's facing more criticism about it. Time is now 438. Now to developing headlines this morning. Here are three things to know. First, a Cleveland woman who has been missing for nearly four days was found dead inside a house in the Slavic Village neighborhood. Police tell us the body was found in the 3600 block of East 54th Street. She's been identified as 25-year-old Anastasia Hamilton, who hadn't been seen since last Saturday. She was last seen on surveillance video taken inside the Terminal Tower parking garage. No cause of death has been released yet. A late Catholic high school senior has learned his punishment after a swastika was seen on the leg of a lacrosse player during a game. The diocese investigation found the student with the symbol on the back of his leg was not the one who put it there. A senior student admitted to using eye black to draw a swastika on his own hand, then transferred the drawing onto three other players. The senior will not walk at graduation and won't get his diploma until he finishes community service. The entire lacrosse team is required to attend an educational program at the Maltz Museum of Jewish Heritage. The Ohio Supreme Court again rejected maps defining state house and Senate boundaries, but they still might be used anyway because a federal court has ruled that if the Republican led committee in charge of the redistricting process doesn't draw more balanced maps soon, the state will have to use the rejected ones. Those maps will be used in a special August 2nd primary, which is still needed to pick state house and Senate races. Time is now 440 and coming up on go. Well, LeBron James keeping his promise to the I Promise School, how he helps students cap off their last day of classes. Plus, new attraction at Cedar Point. Details on what's happening in the park starting today. Oh, Holly, very exciting. I know, that just says summer. You mm -hmm. see Cedar Point, I think summer, and until eight in the evening. Yeah, so Cedar Point right now, 
their hours today for mm -hmm. those who may want to go 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Okay, good. But you say we are may see some storms later today. Later though. today would be when you want to start uh, mm -hmm. kind of uh, being more aware. And if you're going to be away from your TV, this is my friendly reminder to have mm -hmm. that Channel 3 weather app handy. Yes. Let's get a look. Danielle, once we... Uh, it's Sunday and beyond. I mean, we're full <laughs> throttle into and and shorts weather. Yeah, we really are. I mean, bathing suit weather, upper mm -hmm. 80s to near 90. Oh, hope the bodies are ready for the bathing bathing suits, though, Holly. <laughs> to those tacos, I don't know. It's, I don't it's know, debatable. Right, right. Thank you. Well, 448 and former Cavs star LeBron James made a special stop yesterday. He swung by the I Promise School in Akron for the students' last day of school. Check out this photo. So he took pictures with them and posted the pictures onto social media with the caption, love you all and have a fun and safe summer. Don't forget what we talked about. So no word on what they talked about. Yeah. But, uh, Can you imagine? Yes, to have LeBron James I mean, show just right, right there. Just right there. Hey, hey, LeBron, what's uh, up? Well, you, you know, know he's great not, about him. So approachable. Mm -hmm. He is. So just he is. Well, real. I don't know that because I've never he, but, uh, uh, were able to approach him. Don't you? <laughs> okay. But don't you feel like when you see these pictures? You will hope so. Yeah. I will hope so. Me too. So, I do Aww. have a friend who wanted to get an autograph from him, and he wasn't too nice. Oh no! But, <laughs> but it was it was when he played for the Cavs, and they were on the losing streak at the time. Oh, and so I maybe said, he was just I having said, a bad know, maybe game. Maybe he just had a bad day, friend. He may just had a bad That's day. That's what we're believing. Yes, <laughs> yes. Okay, well, still ahead, the doggy detective meets the local woman who is a powerhouse in missing pet cases. But first, Logan's Day.